I'm very fortunate to live in this area, being so close to Bounty Dam, and with the bass fishing and stuff that goes on here, it's it's great. I love it. It takes you away from the everyday thing that's happening to you, and it's uh, you can focus on something different than what's happening in your life. Like it's you know you're focusing on the catching of the fish and that kind of thing. And I love being on the water. We log probably. 400 hours a year on the water. So yeah, we, sp we love it. <laughs> Estevan is, it's a nice little city. Uh, there's a very uh, vast variety of uh, terrain here. The outcroppings of the sandstone down by Roch Percy, you got your spill piles, and then you get into your flatlands where the farming land is, and then you got your uh, uh, places like Boundary Dam. Lots of different landscapes to see here. They have pictures of me when I was about five years old holding a pike that was as tall as I was. And I think it's just, you know, it's gone from there. I had a friend of mine that uh, when we first moved down here and he took me out and after you catch your first bass, you're hooked. It's, it's an incredible, the fight that they have is it's uh, second to none. From what I've heard, it's a, a Texas strain of bass that it was put in here. Uh, the, abs the year it was introduced, I guess it was in the early 80s. They're, uh, they're non-native fish, but the reason that they put them in here it was due to the temperature of the uh, hot water return at the power station. The temperature of the water is enough to keep them alive. It's, uh, it's different because this lake never freezes up. The water temperature usually stays in the 50 degree mark. Oh, he wanted that. <laughs> 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 well, the reason we I, I got my kids into fishing is something because I was doing it and uh, it's a great family thing for any family to get out and you know you sit on a spot or jig for walleyes. Fish on. The bass fishing would be a little bit tougher but it's great when you can take you know you go out with your son or your daughter or whatever and be able to go out and catch fish. Yes. <laughs> yes, finally. Away he goes. The memories that come from it and the fun, the laughs and all that stuff, that's, you know, that's what it's all about. The fishing experience is something that is, is a really good experience for anybody. If I was going to look for the perfect spot for bass, what I'd look for is a good weed patch. If you can find any uh, holes or any spaces in between is cast your lures in there because not most of the time uh, the bass will be in underneath the weed sitting there waiting for something to come past so if you fish the, the weed edges and the pockets uh, you should have some success catch and release is huge because we want to see this last for our kids and my grandkids and everybody else to be able to enjoy what we've enjoyed already and just the experience of it is you know it's second to none <laughs>